Transistor logic or TL elements are built through parallel connection of transistor collector to the common collector load resistor. Output voltage is tapped off from collectors drawn together. High voltage applied to some of the inputs makes the respective transistor open. The output will have signal of low intensity. High voltage is produced at the output only if low voltages are applied to all inputs. This means the transistor logic elements implements the NOR function. The direct coupled transistor logic elements input signals. In direct coupled transistor logic elements, input signals are applied directly to VT1 and VT2 transistor bases. Direct coupled transistor logic elements have one substantial shortcoming. It is an even current distribution between load resistor bases. Such an even distribution results from different input characteristics of transistors. This is rather an unavoidable difference in collector currents of transistors rather than mechanical tolerances. In the resistor coupled transistor logic elements, transistor based circuits include resistors. Resistors align input transistor characteristics in base circuits. It increases the logic unit level, logic swing and tolerable static voltage. However, such circuits demonstrate lower speed performance. A resistor capacitor coupled transistor logic circuits are shunted with capacitors to accelerate transit phenomena. When the previous element is switched, such capacitors shunt resistors for a while. This increases base currents and reduces the build-up time.